this is such a special um, event for me. This is something that I've never done before is have my own shows here at the Sydney Opera House. And obviously I'm really, really excited. To feel that people all over the world can watch it is an added bonus. I've grown up in Sydney and it was always somewhere that I'd sort of dreamed of performing. This album's my fourth album. And I felt that obviously it would, it would really suit this environment because I recorded it with an orchestra and that's the first time I've done that. That's, it's really, really exciting for me. You yeah. said that this album almost killed you. Well, yeah, I do like to get a little bit melodramatic about these things. But then I had a very good engineer who I was working with, Lasse Martin, and he was really the person that kind of helped me carry through the whole project. And so any time I sort of felt a little bit confused, he just kept you know, encouraging me to just stick to what my original sort of vi vision was, I suppose. But I think they, they were probably the moments where I did feel more dramatic about the whole thing, where I was like, I can't cope. <laughs> but um, it's amazing when you get through, you know, through all of that, and then you find yourself in Bulgaria recording with this wonderful orchestra. There is a special connection with the Bulgarian Symphony Orchestra, maybe not the orchestra, but with Bulgaria, given your, your father's background. Yeah, that, that played a part in me wanting to work with the Bulgarian Symphony Orchestra. Um, I'd, I'd read about them about five years ago and, and how uh, they, you know, they're, they're not one of the most well-known orchestras in the world. But the article that I read was about them doing a lot of music for film and because of the family connection with Bulgaria, I, it really kind of captured my imagination and I thought it would be a really romantic idea to go to Bulgaria and kind of get in touch with um, that side of the family history. Yeah, it is quite funny because when I was 10 years old, I told my dad that I was never, ever going to like classical music. And I told him that emphatically because he used to play um, classical music to my sister and I every night before we went to bed. And it must have had some kind of effect on me uh, for me to have such a strong reaction and tell him that and be so stubborn. But that's why I decided to dedicate my album to my dad because um, I thought it was pretty funny that I'd been so strong about it. And you know, even though this isn't obviously a classical album, you know, just to be recording with an orchestra is pretty funny after making that bold statement and <laughs> slightly immature, <laughs> immature statement. Yeah. What does he make of the music? He gets very emotional actually when whenever I play him anything new. And so to play him this album and for it to feature an orchestra and for me to dedicate it to him and the family. It was really meaningful for him. And I do like the recording to have an element of um, a feeling like I'm playing live, because otherwise I just don't really enjoy it. And I've, it, it took me a, a couple of albums to realise that about myself, but it was sort of during the time of my second album when we were doing this thing called like vocal comping, where it, and I just suddenly lost it. <laughs> And I just thought, no, I can't take this, I can't take it. I want it to be live and I want it to have a real flow and a real performance or I really just don't enjoy it. I actually hate it. Yeah, it's amazing feeling that force of, of sound uh, behind you. And the beauty of it has really been capturing me. Because um, th th there's a song called Here that's just the orchestra and me and uh, a ukulele. And, um, and it's very fragile and um, very exposed. And that's the scariest part of the whole show for me, but it's also the most enjoyable part of it because um, when it, to feel it working and to feel it um, coming to life is, is, uh, yeah, is something really um, striking. When it's at its best, you, yeah, you, you just feel so immersed in the sound and what's going on around you that um, you don't really have too many cares about anything. It's sort of like everything else kind of melts away a little bit.